Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for the sign of, we're doing water right now, so we're gonna do Cancer. Hi Cancerians, this is gonna be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Cancerian. This is for the first part of September. Can you believe it's September already? Wow, your cards are coming out quick. So for some of you, it's this wild, passionate new connection that either has come in or will come in, and it could lead to marriage, wedding. The situation involves marriage. Now, it doesn't mean for all of you it's gonna be that. It just means that there's this high potential of it. I can feel it. It's this passionate thing, some of them. It's almost like, it reminds me of like the Knight of Wands energy where it's quick, it's fast, you don't see it coming. It's very out of left field. Takes your breath away what I heard. Holy shit, the ladybug. A vibrant, abundant life, happy, comfort, leisure, wishes are coming true, and the birth of a daughter. So for some of you, this is definitely someone that you're going to have a child with. A lot of people already have children, so it's, I don't think, I mean, yeah, they could already have children, but I think you are going to have, you guys have the potential of having a girl together. Holy shit, the loons. Deep commitment, uncommon bonds, family, reawaken lost hopes, manifest deep desire. See how it says deep commitment and uncommon bonds? Now, uh, this is definitely somebody that is your forever person. Not all of you, okay? And I keep saying it like that because everybody's on a different cycle. Butterfly. You know what I just heard in my head and I've been hearing it for a minute recently? Is the quote, I talked about it recently in one of my other readings. When you chase the butterfly, it eludes you. But when you forget about the butterfly and you sit in your place of peace and comfort, the butterfly comes and sits quietly on your shoulder, meaning the butterfly comes to you. This feels quite important somehow. Now the butterfly also symbolizes a metamorphosis. It also symbolizes this evolution. This is possibly seeing somebody differently. You know, the whole suddenly, new meaning to me it's like you wake up suddenly you're in love exactly what i've been channeling for some of you it's with an aquarius the star time period here is two to four weeks ruling planet is uranus sudden very unexpected the star or aquarius energy is assertive independent cool detached idealistic, very original, opinionated, intellectual, individualistic, and eccentric. It also symbolizes hope and wishing on a star. Second thing about a wish. I feel like somebody played it cool at first or something. I played it cool. I played it off. You have the trophy. Mm, trophy can be about success, fame, awards, you know, being recognized, shit like that. But it's about winning. Somebody wins. Somebody, they win. I don't, it's like, oh, they win the race. I gotcha. For some of you, it's kind of anybody's game, as they say, right? Where it's like, it's not really a winner just yet. A winner of your heart right a winner of being your lifetime partner it's kind of still open they're go they want to win so meaning they want that's how come the wedding thing they're going to put a ring on it for some of you i just did a reading yesterday called the wedding ring which was a phenomenal reading oh here we go of course there'd be fuckery the snake deception jealousy people are really jealous of this could also be something slightly toxic it says silent treatment. That's total Cancerian energy, especially a Cancerian male. The silent treatment. Be careful not to fall into that type of toxic type of energy, okay? Not speaking, being petty, shit like that. Seduction and sexuality here too. Um, the, the silent treatment thing really rings true. And remember I had said earlier, I felt like somebody here played it off or they were like cool about it. That's that. It feels like it's just a deception. Holy shit. Your guys' cards are ridiculous. You have the double rainbow. Divine intervention, 
perfect timing, serendipity, and good luck. Those are all the words on here that resonate with this energy I'm feeling. Of course, there's a lot of other words there, but I'm only going to read to you what I'm channeling and what I feel. It's like the timing of this serendipitous. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm happy for... Look at that, talking about the ring. Holy shit. Diamond ring. Proposal, engagement, promise, partnership, agreement, next level, marriage, and union. It's This is the one. Bottom of the decks, the anchor. I was feeling the anchor off and on all year. Could be symbolic for some of you. Possibly in the Navy. Possibly X navy possibly fisherman someone who's a captain on a boat this could symbolize the anchoring stability they're really stable they're really grounded they're really loyal right it could be any of those types of things this is about somebody being almost in the reading i did yesterday it felt like a safe, a safe haven somebody here is going to be like solid like a rock temperance sag this is jupiter jupiter is all about luck An expansion but luck optimistic somebody here is overly optimistic second time around but something about the second time around it's like the first time they played it to oh my god dun 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 holy shit holy shit see they played it cool the moose calm cool and collected literally says that somebody played the shit off something happened it didn't kick up took a while maybe dated other people comes back around okay so the fireworks is passion chemistry lust kissing explosive hot sex but it's extreme chemistry between two people like it's undeniable but somebody played it cool okay ll cool j you know what i'm saying like okay cancer men cancer cancer women are very different okay i've been in a relationship with a cancer man my papa used to, he was a cancer cancerian men if they are not on the high vibrational spectrum of things okay can be difficult because they can be very they, they get into something and oh, it makes their heart, oh, they freak out and they run away, okay? They go back into their shell. They hide right there. It's, it's this hard exterior like the shell, but inside they're soft and mushy. They're very sensitive, but they also are very moody and they also change their mind 17,000 times a day because they're ruled by the moon and the moon has all these different phases. So it's like, oh my God, it's like they felt all these things in one, in five minutes in the very first meeting. And then what they did was they sort of, Retracted, cool, calm, and collected. They played it off. Somebody played it off. And I feel like it's the Cancerian male. Or Cancerian masculine. Luck is on... Wow, this is a lot of cards. I'm only going to take this first one. It's luck is on your side. New moon and Sag. It said luck here. Good luck with the double rainbow. It's luck on your side because this is what I'm feeling. It feels like... It's very adjustment bureau-ish. It doesn't quite work out the first time. It's sort of like just a miss, right? And then serendipitously, by fate, they meet again. It's, it, the, it, if this becomes an actual relationship, it's because it was fated and fate brings you together. Luck, serendipity, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like I don't want to run into them or I'm going to try to avoid them, but then like I see them constantly or something like, I don't know. It's like crazy. All right, let's get to the tarot spread for you guys. Well, that came out fucking quick. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. So you have two cards indicating wish. Because you also have the ladybug, right? Wishes are coming true. Now the high priestess fell on top of the ladybug. So it's going to be a wish that you don't see coming. Because the high priestess is about secrets, y'all. Yeah? It's hidden, it's unknown. You, you're not going to see it coming at first. The tower, 
fell on top of the ladybug it is going to be sudden and explosive the tower you it's very uranus even though the tower is supposed to be like mars energy destruction i always feel like the tower has that uranus feeling and you had uranus here in aquarius energy of very sudden very unexpected comes in a very unconventional way the way it happens the way it happens again the way you meet like and this also for me has indicated very recently this year in 2020 the tower feels like falling in love like the whole foundation of which you're standing on gets it's like the rug gets pulled up from under you this realization of like holy shit suddenly life has new meaning to me eight of swords there's the overthinking there it is eight of pentacles somebody's a really hard worker here they're very busy professionally so they wouldn't be a broke person who sits on the couch and chooses not to prosper they are very busy they're probably an entrepreneur or they're a ceo business owner they're high up on the hierarchy or they own their own business okay you have the page of cups praying wishing it's definitely somebody wished for this or i i wished for you too vibes very practical magic vibes um i wished for you too page of swords oh they watch someone watches somebody six of cups bottom of the deck it's definitely a past life soulmate they watch they're very if you have zero contact with this person, it doesn't mean that they're not interested. For some people, this has a feeling of like, they you don't have interaction with them, but it doesn't mean that... It's usually when people like that go silent, you know, water signs like that, or even like aquas do it too, we do it too. When we're silent, it's usually when we're up to something. <laughs> so, so if you, this motherfucker's fine is my point, okay? Shit. Moving on. All right, spirit. Tell us what else we need to know for the cancers and cancer cross watchers. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. Total marriage wedding vibes recently, right? With the reading I did yesterday, the collective one called The Wedding Ring, you have despair. Somebody's worried about something or they were really stressed the fuck out. You know, Cancerians kind of tend to, the males, yeah, they tend to teeter in and marinate in this type of an energy. It's just that's their natural state. Yeah, to be more, they marinate in the, the slow shit. Then when they're mad, they feel it. They just let it consume them, you know? They're overthinking so it could be that they think they they lost their chance or something but real they don't really realize that i'm telling you if this is meant to be you'll know because serendip serendipitously and by fate you guys will cross paths again just what it is and that's not just with anybody just not i mean that's with everybody not just cancers right so it's going to be that's just the way it works if it's meant to be it's going to happen you have poverty here somebody feels like they lost something and exactly lack of loss they lost their opportunity mm. But if it's if it's this one, they did not change. Someone moved or is moving. Funnily enough, during cancer season this year, a lot of people moved. And last year during cancer season, I moved. So it's like cancer season always seems to be the time of moving for a lot of people. Probably because it's, you know, cancer rules the home. So there was a possible move that somebody did recently this year, probably possibly around cancer season buying a home moving official person so this is like i said and high honor bottom of the deck this is somebody who they are not a piece of shit either the cancer or the other person that's interested in the cancer or cross watcher somebody here is someone that could have some kind of a title they could be somebody here who is ex-military or in the military Also, someone that's kind of stoic, too, with their face, y'all. Again, as I said, they somebody tried to play the shit off. They tried to be real cool, calm, and collected about this shit in the beginning. That's what it feels like. 
I'm going to try and play the shit off. I'm going to be real cool, calm, and collected about it. And then later kicking themselves in the ass about it, overthinking it. Now I'm going to go and stalk them. And then now hope and pray that I can get a chance to like meet them again. Because it might be kind of awkward to just randomly call them. Or maybe for some of you, you don't even have their number. See, throat chakra. Um, excuse me. You know that I've been feeling that recently. That communication has to come. Look at that self-expression. But it's this communication thing. Communication needs to come. That people are feeling this need to communicate. So it's a lot of clearing of the throat chakra area too for people. It is about feeling like, oh, I want to say it or I want to speak it or I want to tell somebody or I want to call them up. I want to type it. I want to. It's this communication. And it's, I, I joke about it, but it's not really a joke. People are like making up excuses to call people. You know, it's the whole, remember in, um, I love this movie. It's one of the best movies ever. Um, in the movie, he's just not that into you. Remember the pen? Gigi uses the excuse with the pen. And then later Alex does. He uses the excuse of the pen. Oh, I have your pen. It's like that kind of an energy that may provoke some of the communication, but not all. It's like for some, they're going to have to find an excuse to contact you if they have your contact information. Silly things too, right? We joke about it being like, oh, is this your, is this your scrunchie? Is this your hair? Hey, where did you used to buy those Big Macs from before? Remember the Big Macs? And it's like, you mean McDonald's? You know, like making up a weird excuse to like contact you or something like, just be aware that that kind of an energy could be happening right now. It's heavy in it too. I want to thank you all for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Follow me on TikTok if you also have TikTok. It's the same handle as my Instagram. Now, if you want to book a personal reading with me, click on the links below. All of my information is in the description box in all of my YouTube videos. Everything is there. It'll tell you how long it takes for me to respond. It tells you what I offer, and it tells you prices. And then turn around time of when your reading would be booked. There should be no confusion and everything's there when you're ready to book your reading you shoot me an email and you put it in the title of the email exactly what you want so i know what to invoice you okay and again it can take up to a week for me to respond back to any email okay i'll see you guys later love you